Hi, I'm Annette Tan and I'm a food writer. I'm also a private dining chef. Being Peranaka and family meals were always quite lavish. Saya Lama um, is a dish that everyone can relate to. So I thought that for National Day, it was something that you know would resonate with, with other people. So you want to start by making the rumba. You take all the ingredients, cut it down and blitz it to a smooth paste. People tend to think that anything that has a rumpa is, is difficult to cook and it's really not. So one tip is that when you're cooking rumpa, you want to make sure that you've cooked it through well enough. Um, very often, uh, we tend to undercook rumpa, so the, the resulting dish has a very sharp flavour, which is not what you want. Rumpa is meant to be mellow. Now that the rumpa is ready, portion a little bit out with, with the rumpa that's remaining in the pan. Add a little bit of water to loosen it up. Let it come to a slow simmer before adding the bayam. There are now more local farms that supply a wide variety of vegetables and harvest them fresh daily. And that's why I chose to use local bayam for the sayur lemak, simply because of its freshness. Bayam is a really tender vegetable, so it's more well accepted by young children and older people. Once the bayam goes in, add a little bit more water and then some coconut milk and bring this to a slow simmer. The tiger prawns are wild caught of the waters of Australia. Generally, wild caught prawns tend to be a little sweeter and that's why I chose to use them. So with the prawns, you don't want to take the head and the tail off. What you're going to do is you're going to cut the center part of the shell of the prawn so that you can butterfly the center. Take the rumba that you've portioned out Arrange them in the centres of the prawns. Place them in the oven and cook them at 190 degrees for 15 minutes. Now that the prawns are done, you want to assemble the dish. Arrange some of the vegetables and the gravy on a deep cutter. Place the prawns on top of the vegetables. And you're going to finely slice some cafe lime leaves and sprinkle that over as your dish. And you're done.